Hi, it's uh, Russ Sandlin again. Um, so, as you know from my last video, I broke my record and I got to 78 hours. Really happy about that. And the thing is, I could have gone longer. So, I think my body has gotten better from fasting. When I um, first did my fast um, in July and August, when I did my 72 hour fast, then when I broke it, I had really gastrointestinal issues. So I didn't want to break my fast at work because I thought I had issues. I really didn't have any issues. I was okay this time. Um, what I've learned is um, if you have a carbohydrate and sugar diet like I had all my life, um, your biology in your stomach, your gut is not healthy. So all my life I've had a bad gut. I've had bad fauna in my gut. But since I've been on keto for the last, I don't know, seven months, my fauna in my stomach has improved. So when I came off my 78 hour fast, it didn't mess me up so bad. So I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try to break my 78 hour fast. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try to make it to 96 this time. So this is day one. Um, I did lose two kilo. I'm running at about 79.8 right now. I've gotten down to a low of 77, so I want to try to break it even lower, and I want to get my waist uh, down to um, 35 and keep it there. I'm 35 and a half now. So this is day one. So today I was going to do it, um, but Keisha, my um, the tea girl where I work, love Keisha. She's great. I got her on keto now. She said, "Sir Russ." You um, eat at 8, at, at 10.30 in the mornings usually. So she heated up my food because I took some food with me just in case I couldn't get a good start today. So she heated up my food, put it on my desk, and I hadn't told, told her that I was gonna try to do keto again or try to do a longer fast. So anyway, I only did 16 hours today. Um, and I, I felt strong, I could have gone all day today. So this is day one. Starting at, at 11, 15 a.m. this morning, I'm gonna to try to go until at least Thursday, try to go 96 hours. I'm gonna to try to go four days this time. Um, and I think I can do it. Okay. Hello, it's uh, day one of my fast. Um, I'm gonna go for 96 hours this time. I at least want to get to 79 hours which will be my new record i could have gone longer on my last one as i talked about earlier last night so what happened last night well i'm on uh oh i'm stuck cut it for a second <laughs> and my partner just said that my horn sounds effeminate we had buses stuck in front of us and she said it sounded like beep, beep. <laughs> doesn't sound that bad so anyway um, I'm on hour 18 now I'm also gonna do a dry fast today dr. Mindy talks about dry fasting and it'll shake things up a little bit so I'm not gonna do any supplements today I was doing um, uh, nutritional yeast which has been really helping me and salt and a little pinch of cinnamon every now and then but today I want to go for 24 hours without anything like that um, so I'm on about hour 11 now of a dry fast. I've done dry fast before out of sympathy for my employees because I've worked in um, Muslim countries off and on for gosh um, 20 years now. So usually when I have Muslim employees that are um, that are taking part in Ramadan, I will fast with them and during sunrise to sunset you can't eat or drink anything at the dry fast. That's part of the uh, part of Islam for Ramadan. So I've done dry fast before, but I might stick some water like when no one's looking. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to actually try to do a total fast to give my stomach and my intestines a complete rest for the first time really ever in my life. Um, so what happened last night? Um, I really um, had a hard time sleeping from 3 o'clock a.m. onward. I couldn't sleep. I could really feel my brain over overdoing it um, too many ketones I guess or the ketones were kicking in I'm not tired now. I have a whole lot of energy but um, but really I had insomnia and I really usually don't have insomnia so I had to keep an eye on that 
Um, something else that I'm looking for, I'm looking for this coenzyme. Uh, my boss Jordan got me this, it's dynamite, I love it. It's a great way to keep you going when you're fasting. It has some L-arginine in it or something like that. It has good stuff and it doesn't break your fast. Um, I'm not taking it today, obviously, I don't have it. Um, he only brought one from the UK, so if anybody's going to Qatar from the UK, please pick up some of this stuff for me and I'll pay you when you get here because you can't find it in Qatar. So anyway, I am on hour 17 ah, of a, I don't know what's going on with the traffic this morning, um, of a, anyway, but these buses are stopping in the middle of the road. So anyway, there's not much else I can, can say. I, We'll sign off now because I need to concentrate on my driving. Anyway, it's a beautiful, okay. it's a beautiful sunrise. We can't see it now; it's behind the building. Um, but yeah, I, I had a really crazy morning here. The I had seven different buses stop in the middle of the road on me this morning. Thank goodness I left early. So we'll try to get a shot of the sun once we get past these buildings. Um, but yeah, um, I'm feeling good on my my um, my fasting. I am having some weird stuff going on. Um, um, I'm having really bad leg cramps in my calves. I'm not working out in the gym as much because I'm a little bit afraid with the COVID-19 resurgence. So I'm only doing it maybe twice a week now when there's nobody there. But I am walking every day. I'm doing really long walks and I'm doing high intensity interval training once or twice a week as well at the park with my partner. Um, so I feel good though. My joints are feeling better than they've ever felt. I mean, I have really I've had some knee problems in the past. They feel good. I had problems with the bottom of my feet, plantar fasciitis, and my feet are a little painful now in the joints, but the plantar fasciitis is a lot better. I'm actually, um, because of my 78 hour fast earlier this week, I feel like the autophagy has really kicked in. I feel really rejuvenated right now, more so than I have in all my fasting in the last seven months. Um, so yeah, um, let's, let's try to show you the sun in just a second and then, um, We'll call it a day till tomorrow morning. Reddit morning, sailor's warning, my father always said. But look at that beautiful sun coming up over the Arabian Gulf, or as we Americans say, the Persian Gulf. So I'm on my, um, end of my first day of my, um, my new fast. I'm gonna try to go 96 uh, hours this time. I'm at least gonna break my 78 hour um, record that I had. Another thing I did today for the first time, I did a dry fast. So I am on hour 23 of a dry fast. I'm okay. I mean, I'm feeling a little out of it, a little thirsty, but I did not, the last 23 hours, have any water, any salt, any, uh, not a thing went into my mouth today. Nothing. Not one drop of anything. So um, yeah, the, I can really tell it's shaking things up in my body. So um, tomorrow morning at the weigh-in, I'm expecting to see some significant loss. Well, hopefully, I mean, I feel like it happened. I did a brisk walk today. Um, and I, I need to give you a call to action one more time. Please um, invite all your friends to join my group to watch my keto journeys. I'm gonna be putting a lot of content on keto about um, the benefits of keto. Really because I'm trying to get some followers so I can monetize to get a couple of my videos to hopefully go a million views because I need to get my mom on keto and on intermittent fasting because of her Alzheimer's. So please put this out to the world, share this with all your friends. Um, one person sharing really does matter. I appreciate all of you. Uh, so thank you so much and uh, we'll be uh, showing you more later tomorrow morning. Thank you. Okay, so I'm in the middle of my uh, 96 hour fast. I'm on, I guess, hour 37. And it's not hard for me at all. You know why? Because I'm doing a dry fast right now too. I'm on hour, I just passed hour 24. So I've done a 20 hour, four hour fast. I'm gonna make um, a creatine drink for me. But first I had to make it for you. And I also have to, when I make yours, I need to use some of this for you. I can't have it though. That would break my fast. 
And then I'm gonna have a little pinch of nutritional yeast after that, a little bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of sea salt. And then maybe a green tea and go to bed. Sound good? I forgot, yesterday I forgot to do the weigh-in, but it was 79.3. So this morning, 78.3. So I dropped a kilo. That's cool. 78.3. Day two, so I am uh, coming up on 48 hours, uh, a couple hours, I'm at 46 hours, I guess right now, 45 hours. And I did a dry fast yesterday, went 24 hours, I really felt it. Um, I haven't seen any change in my stomach, but uh, to be honest, my stomach, I've gotten it down to 35, I'm at 35 and a half right now, I've been holding steady there, it's, it's loose skin. Uh, it's mostly loose skin, um, uh, less fat, more skin. So what I'm hoping to do is these long fasts, they're called autophagy fasts, according to Dr. Mindy. Um, hopefully I'll be able to repurpose my, my loose skin um, because I'm not gonna have any nutrition in me. And my body will break down first the, the sugar, which I don't have much, the glucose, um, and then uh, um, after that, and I'm not eating any carbs because when I re fuel I'm doing keto so then it'll go after um, my fat and my uh, protein which is loose skin um, it'll redirect it and repurpose the loose skin into um, fuel for my brain and, and, and my other body parts hopefully and that's the goal um, theoretically that's what happens and it does happen to other people in the in the lab I want to thank um, the people I had like like seven people sub me yesterday and um, I didn't get 100,000 views. I'm not at a million views or anything like that. But, um, but you know, I got 80 views on my uh, call to action yesterday asking for people to sub and watch my video because um, whatever I can get on my videos through my journey with keto is going to go towards uh, getting a dietitian and a um, nurse for my mom. She's, as you all know, has Alzheimer's. And in my study on keto and fasting, it's been shown clinically to reverse the effects and prevent Alzheimer's. So I'm trying to get mom back. So anyway, um, another quick hack for you. Um, I had a viewer ask me what other hacks I'm doing because I have a tag for hacks on one of my videos. Um, I turn the water in my shower in the mornings to full cold for a couple of seconds. Um, to... Um, speed camera <laughs> I um, I turn it to full cold at the end of my shower I go as hot as I can first to get you know all the steam in my capillaries and my my lungs and all that um, then at the last part of my sh shower I go as cold as I can you know like like Big Ed in the Philippines with the cold water you know that's probably what I look like to my partner but, um, yeah uh, it is like shock therapy it resets your brain at least that's what some doctors are saying. The shock therapy, after all, is a shock to the brain. So it treats things like uh, depression, things like that. So anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I'll keep you posted on the progress. I'm hungry. I'm really, really getting hungry. <laughs> um, so I'm at, uh, I guess, hour 49. So, hour 49, I'm still hungry. Hopefully I'll get through it. I'll have some water and, or a tea or a coffee or something. Got to jump to another call, but yeah, hopefully I'll just stay busy so I won't think about it. So part of my fasting is, uh, and keto, is making sure I get lots of sunlight, vitamin D, and nice brisk walks. So I try to do a long 25 to 30 minute walk every day uh, to supplement the high intensity interval training that I do um, a couple times a week and the weight training I try to do a couple times a week. So I'm out now, it's just a beautiful day in Qatar. All my friends and family are talking about uh, the blizzards going across the United States. And here it must be about 80 degrees. It's just beautiful weather today. Um, so I'm getting my vitamin D and I'm walking. Uh, I'm on, I guess, hour 51 maybe, 51 hours into my march to 96 so i'm fasting for fran my mom's name is 
uh, Fran, Francis Bogleman Sandlin. So I'm fasting for Fran, and part of the thing to help me keep it going is doing walks and getting my vitamin D. Make it a great day, and uh, I'll continue to update you on my march to, to 96 hours. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to do it. So my director told me not to ramble too much. I'll try not to ramble, but I'm on hour 56 now, on my way to 96. So hour 56, 40 more hours to go. I had a lot less coffee and tea today, too. I cut it in half, drank mostly water, and had, a, I think, two black coffees and maybe three or four green teas. So, yeah, um, I'm really hungry, but I'm, I'm surviving. It's habit, and it's habit of having my stomach full all the time, you know? It's a, it's a good feeling, though, having this big empty going on. So... I'm fasting for Fran. My mom's name is Fran. So please make sure you are encouraging others to watch these videos because if I can get monetized and get a bunch of these videos to go viral, that money is going to go towards a nurse slash dietitian to help my mom get on keto and to get on to, um, to do fasting. And I'm going to do a lot of videos talking about the medical evidence on it, on how it can curtail and reverse Alzheimer's. It's hard to believe, but it's true. So that's how I got into it. So anyway, that's it. I'm driving home and I'm on hour 56. I'm hungry, but I will survive. I will at least make it uh, past my record of 70, um, 78 hours, because that'll be sometime tomorrow afternoon. But I want to drive on to, to 96. That's my goal. Thanks for watching and uh, more tomorrow morning. Man, I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, 66 hours 78 3 so that's within two tenths of a kilo of my world record but i gained some weight back a little bit because of water weight from yesterday anyway so i'm on hour 67 now on my fast for fran so almost completed that three-day fast um Okay, um, it's not so bad today. I, I feel all right. And my weigh-in this morning, I was the exact same as yesterday, which is kind of cool because yesterday I was really low because I'd done a, a um, dry fast the day before, so I was dehydrated. So I've rehydrated. I was drinking a lot of water yesterday and a couple black coffees and a couple green teas. So I rehydrated, but I still stayed the same. So today I'm inspecting my world record, my lowest weight in 40 years. Um, hopefully, that's it. We'll talk to you soon. Well, I'm at 70 hours now. Oh, boy, I'm white knuckling it. The ghrelin is really coursing through my veins right now. The, the, uh, the, the hormone that makes you hungry. Um, so my body's used to having, you know, breakfast. So that's where I am right now. I'm white knuckling it. I need to get past 72 on my way for my fasting for Fran to 96. So I'm coming up on hour 71. So I'm coming up on three days right now uh, on my fasting for Fran. Um, it's not easy, but I'm hanging in there. If I can get past the next couple hours, which is like my normal feeding time, um, then I should be okay to march on to make it until tomorrow, which would be my 96. So looks like I'll definitely make the 72 or three day. Um, I'm in within reach of my 78 hour world record, and I think I should be able to, to surpass it and make it to 96. Thank you for all your support. I'm getting a whole bunch of comments from people. I haven't gone viral or anything like that yet, so please keep sharing this to all your friends. And uh, what I'll do, if you share it and like and subscribe me, I'll reply to each and every one of you. I'll get back to you on all the sources that I found for Alzheimer's uh, prevention and um, mitigating steps to take, as well as how keto works and how intermittent fasting works. And I'm your testament. I lost um, like 70 pounds. I lost, um, gosh, uh, 11, 12 inches around my belly in no time. And um, I'm feeling better than ever. So it really does work. Um, it's a great lifestyle to be in. And I've reversed uh, 50 years of eating the wrong stuff. Um, so it really works. 
And um, I just need to keep telling myself it works because I'm going into those uncharted areas of discovery when you go beyond three days fasting, it, it gets real. I think what I might do is tomorrow try to do a water so, fast. I am at hour 73, I've gone in three days. So this is officially my second longest fast, my fast for Fran. So I've only got 23 more hours to go to make it to 96. Woohoo! And I'm surviving, but now I'm gonna go for my walk to get that vitamin D and to take my mind off mindless. Okay, so I'm on my hike, my, my daily brisk walk to get my vitamin D. I'm on my third day of a fast. I'm, I just crossed the 73 hour mark as everybody knows. I've only got 23 more hours to go to make it to 96 on my fasting for Fran. I wanna thank again all of the people that are uh, responding to me um, and supporting me. Um, it really means a lot. I'm really surprised that there haven't been any views on the videos though, because I've gotten about, I don't know, 40 or 50 messages from my friends and family saying that they're supporting um, this initiative and that they're sharing the, the Facebook videos, or I'm sorry, the, the YouTube videos, but I'm not seeing it. I don't know, maybe YouTube is just not counting them. <laughs> so anyway, please continue to uh, like, subscribe, put in the comments that you liked and subscribed and shared it. Shared it to all your friends and family. Throw it out there in WhatsApp, uh, you name it. Throw it out to everybody so we can get viewed. Um, and I'll bring more timely um, content on Alzheimer's and fasting and keto and all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna um, definitely let everyone know progress on my mom and her condition as I um, get the money together to get a nurse on site for her. Thank you, everybody. Wow, world record. Lowest in 40 years, 45 years. Hey, I want to give you guys all an update. Guess what? I made it four days fasting for Fran. Thanks to all of your help and uh, and uh, being there for me. I did like a 12 hour dry fast that I ended this morning, meaning I didn't have any um, liquids as well, just to kind of top it off. I do dry fast for about nine to 10 hours every day anyway, just when I'm sleeping. Um, so I blew past the 96 hours. I'm on about, I think, hour 98 right now. I'm gonna try to go for 100. I don't know if I can do it or not, but I'm, I'm okay. So right now, I'm gonna go to a, a high um, intensity interval training. Um, my trainer is gonna take me down there. I'll try to do four to six sprints of 100 meters. I don't know if I can do it or not, because like I said, I've been eight in four days. I had the big empty going on. It's so weird though, my stomach, stopped at 36 which is my record i can't get it under or 35 i can't get it under 35 but i don't think it's fat i think it's loose skin but my body um uh, mass index is still above 20. i mean i'm obviously nowhere near 10 percent but i am the lowest weight i've been in gosh um since i was 21 22 years old i haven't been this light i weigh 170 pounds us right now uh that's uh for you kilo people, that's 77.3 kilo. Lowest I have weighed since about 1983, around there, 82, since I was 21. Because I, I, I was really um, bulky then. I also was about an inch taller then. When I got sick um, about 10 years ago in the Philippines, I was in a wheelchair for six months. I got really sick and I atrophied. Um, I lost about an inch of height, which is really crazy. If any of you have ever heard of anybody else losing um, height, let me know. But yeah, so right now I'm gonna go do my, my sprints and then I'll do some squats in the gym if I can. Hit the, um, uh, the, the um, bicycle and uh, let's see if I can make it before I eat again. I'm gonna try for 100.
Okay, so I'm at hour 99. We're gonna try to go to 100. So my four day fast is still going strong. And I did a high intensity interval training right now. Um, so I did four by 100 sprints. I did 100 crunches. I did 20 bicycle crunches, which is high intensity interval training. I did 40 push-ups. Get that Alexis Dobbin, <laughs> One, 40 push-ups. So I'm hoping now that I got my push-ups up to 40, you'll do a collaboration with Paul and I on, um, on a healthy lifestyle. Maybe Luke in India, you'll do one with me too now. I don't know. And I also did um, 20 uh, mountain climbs, which is also high intensity interval training. And I also did um, 10 step ups, actually a total of 20, and 10 hop ups, which is also high intensity interval training. Now to wrap it up, hopefully I won't pass out. Um, I'm gonna do some squats, some punching bag, and riding of the bicycle. And then um, after that, I might eat, because I'll be well over 100 hours at that point. So that's it, thank you for watching. So I'm over 99 hours now. So I got 99 hours and the food ain't one of them. So I'm at hour 100 now. I did two sets of squats um, with um, um, shorterless with the cowbell, the cow kettle um, barbells. And I did two sets of deadlifts with um, then the um, lift up, the, the Christmas tree lit, uh, granddaughter lift ups <laughs> from that commercial. And then I did two sets of the, of the um, punching bag. Now I'm gonna do a little bit on the bike. I'll try to do a couple sets of legs and shoulders after this if I can. I'm a little bit dizzy though. 100 hours, no food. How about that? Alexis Dobbin, hope you're watching, my man. Oh, and I did six pull-ups. I doubled my best. I used to be able to do like 30, but I was only up to three, and now I jumped up to six. Whew. Well, I got my heartbeat up on the bike. Try to go for five minutes. Now I'm doing my 10 sets of stairs while still in my fasted state. But I did a pretty lame workout, though. Just did some squats and military presses after my bike all right just too tired but i got the next two days off so i can hit the gym again if i can get a gym two three times a week that's good for me okay i did a hundred and a half hours over four days so i'm going to start out with these vegetables i'll maybe do some pieces of coconut then i got some seaweed on my half i got some chicken on my half and i got some cheese i'm going to try to go slow Anyway, here I go. Thank you for going on this journey, this fasting for Fran. I did four days, I did 100 hours. I'm going to tag it for 96 because search engine optimization says 96 is searched more than 100, but I really did 100. Thanks for all your support, everybody. See you on the other side, thank you.